Hi, I'm Tom Izzo, head basketball coach at Michigan State University. Today we're going to give you an opportunity to watch us practice and practice drills. And I think practice is what the key is to successful organizations, teams, whatever you do. Today you're going to learn what Michigan State does in practice that helps us become an elite team. Yeah, practice scheduling and what I do every day, um, you know, like everybody else, we use what we did the year before and things like that, but it kind of goes by personnel too. If we have a veteran group, I might do less drill work. If we have a, a rookie group, I might do more drill work. But I also try to break it up and, you know, I think most coaches end up spending more time on their defense than their offense. I'm trying to bridge mine so they're pretty much similar. Um, you know, I think during the season you worked almost too much on your opponents and not as much on yourself. That's one area I'm trying to improve on. I, I don't think I can be John Wooden where he said, you know, he worked 90% on his own team and not even 10% on his opposition or his opponent. Um, but we aren't, our third string center isn't a first round draft pick. So it's a little different for us. And so we spend a decent amount of time during the season on our opponent. But in the preseason and in the practice going up to the start of the games, um, try to get a solid workout and balance it between offense, defense, or rebounding, what I call our special teams work, which would be, you know, baseline out of bounds, sideline out of bounds, little pressing if we're going to do that, free throw shooting, um, all the things, end of the uh, shot clock, end of the game, things like that, that would be our, uh, our special teams work. And so offense, defense, special teams is the way I break up practice. Characteristics of a good practice, number one and most important to me is the energy level. You know, do we have guys communicating? This Twitter era, as I call it, um, has caused some issues uh, I think for all coaches, as far as communication skills, you know, it's almost like if we can't text it, and I don't think that's legal to carry a phone out there while we're playing, then we have to be better verbal communicators. And so when I see the energy level high, guys picking up each other, and the communication level high, right away, that puts our practice at a different level. I think what people would see in our practice is, is, is we keep it going. You know, there's pretty much... Most people that come, even pro scouts, you know, it's pretty fast and it, and it, you know, we don't, and maybe that's the reason I think guys play harder. You know, it gets to be every day. I think right now what we got is we got enough players that sometimes we don't look very good offensively. My old guy, Doug Herner, says to me, you know, you're not going to look good offensively because your other guys can guard pretty good too. So <laughs> it's going to make it harder, you know, and, but that's going to make us better as we go on if we keep, so the intensity of practice, I think the players bring it. We don't have to do as much on that. I think it's kind of ingrained now. The Valentines of the world are, I get it.